right, folks, we are going to do the plumbing on a bathroom sink drain. And uh, this is a, uh, oh, hang on, I'm going to try to get down here. This is a uh, inch and a half. All of this is an inch and a half. This tailpiece here, this is for the stopper. And this tailpiece here, this is an inch and a quarter. So when you buy your faucet, it comes with a tailpiece and a stopper and all of this back here, this assembly. But this is an inch and a quarter. And so you don't want to plumb this the rest of the way out with an inch and a quarter. You don't want an inch and a quarter trap, you want an inch and a half. Reason why is an inch and a quarter is gonna get, well, it's gonna get stopped up way quicker than an inch and a half. So, I'm gonna show you how to plumb this out. Now you'll have to do your measurements and cut and all of that stuff. My stuff's already cut. But uh, I'm gonna show you a trick here. This is a inch and a quarter this is an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half washer inch and a quarter to an inch and a half washer and uh, I'll show you how that works all you need is this to transition from an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half this is all you need is this washer. Now this can be clear, it can be green, or red. I guess that's red. Yeah, so uh, very, very simple how this works. So as you can see, this is what you'll have. Inch and a half here. And so you'll see how it'll fit in there like so just to give you an idea and it turns hang on it turns that hole into an inch and a quarter hole and so this is it folks this is all you need to transition from your stopper tailpiece uh, to your trap tailpiece all you need is this washer inch and a quarter inch and a half all right so and remember this all of this this all of this rod that strap that clip all, all of that comes with your faucet it all comes with whatever faucet you buy this all comes with it huh what you have to purchase after you purchase your faucet, all you have to get is this tail piece here, which is an inch and a half, a inch and a half trap, and then this piece here. And I actually just call this a tail piece. Uh, it's called something else, but we just call it a tail piece. Yeah, so, and let me show you now. This goes up in here, then this slides down. So this will be like this. This slides down into here, like so. And then you got this. Uh -huh. Tighten her up. And then this will go into your Schedule 40 inch and a half or two inch pipe which we've got an inch and a half to here, and, but then it's a two inch right there at the wall. This goes like this. Now let me show you a trick how to get this on. This, friends, you can't, you don't, you, you go, here's what you need to do. You need to just let that be loose. Don't try to force nothing when it comes to this. Just let it be loose and then put it on. When you try to, when you try to force this on, it, it just gives you a fit, man, every time, every time. So just loosely do it. 
you'll see, leave this loose, let it dangle and do what it wants to do and get it on there. All right, so we're gonna put her together, hang on. So, inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter to inch and a half. Now, see that flat part? You want to put the flat part up towards the sink. Flat part up towards the sink. And you're gonna wrap it around there like so and just simply put her on. Now don't get it too far up there. Let this tailpiece push it up there. All right, let's 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 do this the right way. That's how you're gonna put it on there though. First we put the, the uh, uh, whatever, whatever this is called. First we put this up there. So you'll need two hands, huh? You'll need two hands or if you're used to doing it, you can do it with one. See that? Oh, let's take it back off. Let's show you how that works. See, that will fit in like so. Huh? See that? That's how that'll do. Flat part up against here, flat part going up like so. This is how you want it. Flat part on top. And you got your bevel on the bottom. All right. And so to get this on, this always goes on first. Your nut is just a big nut is all it is. A washer nut, I guess you could call it. And we get that on there and see there, once you get it on there, not hard to deal with. It'll, it'll stop it. Because it fits tight. The washer fits tight on this inch and a quarter. And we push it up. Now, we're not going to push it up super far. We're just not going to do that. Now, let me show you a trick how to get all this together. Can you see good? Yeah, you can see good. I'm trying to stay out of your way so it makes it a little difficult. All right, so here, here's how I do it. I put this on. And so I don't have this too far up because I don't want to worry about pushing it down. So what I do is just push it up with this, huh? like so. And then I snug it up. I, I don't get it super tight. I don't, I don't want to get it super tight. Not yet. I just want to get it to hang on. Please hang on. Huh? All right. And then, and then I put... Everything's loose right now. I tighten it all up at the end. So then I put this on. Now, you can use a washer for this. You can use a washer for this tailpiece that goes into the main pipe there that goes into the Schedule 40. You can use a washer for this that is just an inch and a half green or what. You want me to go get you one? Let me go get you one. Hang on. Let me pause this and let me go get one. Hang on, folks. All right, folks. All right, so we're going to do things a little different. So what I was going to use, and this goes on there, which goes onto here. And this has a, of course, an edge on it, which catches, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a channel in there. And that edge of this fits right in that channel and keeps it from leaking. We're not gonna use it. That's what I had on there. We're gonna swap it up just for video sake. All right, so what we're going to do, this is a inch and a half washer. Inch and a half washer. And so what we're going to do is take a regular, this is not a regular washer nut for a sink assembly or for a drain assembly. This is not regular. This is the regular one. And we'll put this on first, like so. And then we'll take this and put it on with the flat part going towards the washer the flat part going towards the washer, the beveled part will go into this pipe here. 
And so let's make sure that's fairly smooth. It ain't got to be perfect, but you know, you want it pretty smooth. And we'll slide that on. Now, sometimes you got to stretch these on, but it's fine. It ain't going to hurt anything. Stretch it on. Now, back her on up. Okay. See that? Looky there. Looky there. Now, see how that's going to work? It's going to work nice. Nice and watertight, folks. All right. So here's... Here, uh, hang on, let's, let me show you the different washers. So this, you don't want this one. You see that, it's like a top hat. Like if you flip it upside down. Yeah, this is not what you want. This goes for, this has to do with the kitchen sink. And so you don't want this one. Here's a green, one of these washers, inch and a half or an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half. That's a green one. All right. There's a clear one. Inch and a half to inch and, or inch and a quarter to inch and a half. All right, now, watch what I do here. This makes it so much easier. You can, you can always put this on first, which is kind of silly, but I just have it, I guess. But uh, let's take it off. Let's take it off so you can see you can see better. Let's raise that up a little bit, get it out of the way. So what you want to do is put this on and this on before you put your trap on. Watch, you'll see why. All right, so we got her set up. We're gonna slide her in there. Huh? Now we're just gonna, we're not gonna put it in place and tighten anything. Then we're gonna come on over to here. Now this, Oh, it's just going to fall, so we're going to screw it on a little bit uh, and get it to hold in place. Don't cross through it. There we go. Now we can do the rest of it. Inch and a half to inch and a half. Regular washer nut. It goes up first, right? We get our washer and slide it right up on there, like so. Huh? And we're just gonna get her started and we're gonna let the trap do the rest of it. Because the trap will set it exactly where it needs to go. I mean, pretty much. So, watch, watch. All right, see what I got here? Now, watch. I want to do this at the same time. It is way too hard to do it the other way, but it's doable. So, if you get it pretty much set up, then you can slip this trap on there very easily. Now, let's do... Let's push this one in a little. It needs to go in just a little. And we'll put that kind of, we'll get that in where it goes here. Huh? And we need to push it out. This washer's going to, there we go. And then we'll bring her down. And you can't see it, but we're sliding it right on that other. Of course, we've got to push it in a little more. Now look, I actually, I actually want to, I want to go ahead and do this first because it's just this this gives you the most trouble it doesn't give you really any trouble but it gives you the most trouble as far as tightening goes and so what I do is I drop my trap down and it looks something like here huh and then it just goes on so much easier it's still gonna give me a truck a little bit of trouble but watch it. See, I got a gap there. And if I shove this up in here, it's not going to work good because of this bend here. Because of this bend. So if I drop her down, and I got me just a little bit of a gap there. Huh? Like so. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Huh? No. See, she gave me just a little trouble. 
Not a lot. Just a one-handed deal here because of, well, it's because of you. Come on, grab hold. Come on, Betsy. She ain't going to grab, folks. So we're going to have to. Let me see if I can put you. That's going to be too much. Well, you see what I'm doing now. I'm going to back you up so where you're steady. Good and steady. All right, you can see. All right, I'm dropping her down. Two hands. This this can only be done with one hand, and she's giving me a little bit of trouble, and that's what she does. There we go. Come on now. Now on these, if you feel like you're cross-threading, just kind of go backwards, and then go back forwards. Just like we're cross-threading. We backed up. Now we got her. Now we got her. Now look, look, everything's loose. This is falling. This isn't tight. None of this is. See there, that's how we want it right at this moment. Can you see? Oh yeah. All right, so we got her. We got her. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make it pretty snug. Now I'm going, can you see what I'm doing? All right, so now I'm going to to put this one on. See, see how we, how this is. See that? That's how it's going to be. We're gonna go ahead. Come on, Mike. Let's get it. And we're gonna get her pretty snug. Now this stuff, you don't want to just go crazy with tightening it up. You know what I'm saying? Mm, good and tight, but just not like over tight. Good and tight. And don't put a wrench on this. Don't put a pair of channel locks on this. Don't do that. Here we go, folks. See that? She's good and snug. She's right where, because of this, we put this on first over here. This set this exactly where it needs to be. Now, this pipe here is down to about right here. You can take it all the way down, but you've got that much play. Huh? You got that much play. All right, so it looks like it's cross threading, so we're going to back her up just a little. Oh, there we go. Let's start all over. Oh, she's doing it again. I really need my right hand. I need my right hand. There we go. All right, let's use the right hand. There we go. All right, pack her up. There we go. There we go. Come on, Mike. She's still lopsided. She still looks crazy. There we go. There we go. Come on, Mike. You can do it, Mike. Oh, there we go. We had her cross-threaded. But it ain't going to hurt a thing. We, she straightened herself right back out. All right, this is, this is pretty, pretty good. There we go. There we go. That's it, folks. Huh? So this piece, this tail piece here comes with the faucet. What you have to worry about is getting you a inch and a quarter to an inch and a half washer, a tail piece that will go on this. See how it's made here? See how it's made here? It's an inch and a half and gets just a little bigger here. That's so it can slide in. And an inch and a half can slide in. So if you need to put this I put an inch and a half instead of an inch and a quarter in this, it'll fit. See that? See the difference? We got the same thing here. This is an inch and a half trap, and this is an inch and a half uh, arm. It's actually a, like a tailpiece. I call it a tailpiece. It's a, it's an arm. But uh, we've got that, and this is tight. It's not cross-threaded. This is tight. It's not cross-threaded now. If you cross thread, 
like I did this one, it ain't going to hurt it. It'll it, As soon as you get it down good and snug, it's going to actually pop in place. But try not to do that. That's not the best thing to do. Uh, what else? That's it. She's good and snug. Now, I didn't show you how to put this on, but that's a video for another day. Anyway, folks, that is it. We'll see you.